Sample Tank 3 has three main pages, Play, Mix, and Edit. Let's take a look at the Play page. You'll spend most of your time on the Play page with the Instrument tab selected. Here is where you load instruments into any of the 16 parts. First, select a part by clicking it. Then double-click the instrument name in the browser to load the instrument into the selected part. Repeat the procedure for additional parts you want to fill. For each part, you can change the MIDI channel by clicking and dragging up and down. If you want to layer two or more instruments, just put them on the same MIDI channel and those parts will all play together. You can solo or mute each part. This is handy when you have a busy mix with lots of parts playing simultaneously, and you can delete the part by clicking the X button. This removes the instrument from the part, freeing up memory and CPU power. Or you can simply double-click a new instrument to replace the one in the current part. You also have sliders on the right of each part for volume and pan, as well as a meter to show the activity on that part. There are three different kinds of instruments. Standard instruments, articulation switching instruments, and loop instruments. Standard instruments are instruments like pianos, organs, and synths, where you just load the instrument and play it normally. Articulation switching instruments are instruments that can change their sample performance in real time, like an acoustic guitar that changes between finger-picked notes, slides, and harmonics. Articulations can be selected using key switching, velocity switching, or mod wheel switching. You'll see the type of switch available in the icon next to the instrument name. KS for key switching, VS for velocity switching, and MW for mod wheel switching. Then finally, there are loop instruments. These are audio loops of musical performances mapped across the keyboard. The audio loops have their native tempos in the file names, but you can also change their tempo to match the current global tempo. There are four main buttons at the bottom of the browser to help manage your instruments. First, the menu that lets you perform familiar tasks like Save, Save As, Rename, and Delete, as well as importing previous Sample Tank libraries and your own user samples. We'll talk more about importing in a future video. Next to the Menu button is the Info button. Click this to display a screen for each instrument you click on in the browser. You don't have to actually load an instrument to see its info. Just single-click the instrument in the browser to show that instrument's info screen. You'll see a 3D image of the instrument along with its size in megabytes, category, description, and a list of macro controls. The macro controls are eight unique parameters pre-programmed for each instrument with eight quick access knobs available on all pages of Sample Tank 3 on the macro panel. Click the Info button again to return to the Part Viewer. Next, we have the Search button. Click this to enter a word or phrase to help you locate specific instruments within your library. With over 4,000 instruments just in the factory library alone, you'll find the Search function to be a valuable assistant. While the Search button is active, only the search results will show in the browser. Click the X to close the search and show all items in the browser again. The last button in this row is the Scan Instrument Library button. When you've made changes to your library on the disk, outside of the Sample Tank 3 standalone application or plugin, click this button to let Sample Tank 3 rebuild its instrument database. Underneath the browser is the macro panel that we just mentioned. Here you can also click the Effects button on the right to instead show the insert effects for the currently selected instrument. Click the 1 through 5 buttons on the left to display the effects in each of the five insert slots. You can also bypass each effect by clicking the red light in each button. Click on the effect name to open the effect browser where you can choose a different effect for the currently selected insert slot. And of course, you can adjust all the parameters for the effect on its 3D panel. The collection of all 16 parts with their loaded instruments, effects, and patterns is called a multi. To save the state of the 16 parts, click the Multi tab at the top of the browser. Just like on the Instrument tab, there is a Menu button at the bottom left of the browser. Here you can manage your multis with familiar tasks like Save, Save As, Rename, and Delete. 
You can also import older sample tank format combis here as well. More on that in a later video. And also, as on the other tabs, you have a search function where you can search your library for specific multis. Next is the Scan Multi button in case you've made changes to your multi library outside of Sample Tank. Multis are most commonly used to store multi timbral collections of instruments, but they can also be used to create, store, and recall splits and layers for live performance. Just set your parts to the same MIDI channel and you can layer up to 16 Sample Tank 3 instruments, each with their own insert effects or use the range parameter on the edit page to limit the note region for each part to create splits. With 16 parts available, you can customize each multi with incredible detail. This becomes extremely relevant when we talk about the next section, the Live tab. <laughs>